over the last few weeks, me and my brothers and our amazing support team, all of us have been talking about what does the future look like for RepStack? And I want to really give, give you a vivid picture of the future today. And I'm going to ask you, I'm going to take you there on this journey with me today to show you what's out there waiting to happen. Because what we've been able to achieve so far, uh, so our 10 year plan to reach $100 million in revenue, how are we going to get there? We're going to need everyone in this room to be a part of that journey and some more. This is coming from our heart and soul, guys. We took a lot of time to come up with our purpose. And I want to read this out to you guys. To revolutionize the future of work by building long-term, mission-driven, global teams that fuel agencies across the world. Powered by AI, driven by excellence. So our next 10-year mission is by 2034, we will become a hundred million company with 5,000 team members transforming how agencies scale. So now you get the idea of scale, right? Over the next 10 years, we want to go up to 5,000 people. Right now, we're approximately 250 people. Okay. Values. I don't want to do that regular exercise where, you know, people ask you to look to your left and to your right and see who you, but if you want to do that on the tables that you guys are sitting if we can surround ourselves with people who believe in the same values as each one of us and we all show up to work believing in the same thing so without any further ado i'm going to introduce you to our first value purpose-driven learning what it means mastery comes from finding your passion and relentlessly pursuing it. And this is an excerpt from uh, Mastery by Robert Greene. And this is going to be a part of our learning now. There's going to be books associated to each one of these learnings. Uh, a lot of the stuff you're seeing at RepStack is coming directly from it. And especially the purpose-driven learning, I wanna point that out to you because your concerns are valid. I got a job already, now I gotta train and all of that stuff. You're absolutely right. But if, you're, if you understand purpose-driven learning, and you understand the story of RepStack, it all started because of purpose-driven learning. And that's what purpose-driven learning to me means. According to Robert Greene, if you can align your calling, if you're in this room and you wanna be a digital marketer or you wanna be a marketer, you wanna pursue a career that you're pursuing and this is your, going to be your life's work, then like Hussam said, is, is this what we're here for? Are you gonna just take okay results? Or are you gonna to wanna to crush it every single day and purpose-driven learning is going to help us do that. I want to move to ownership of work. This is what it means. Take full responsibility, no excuses. Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willings. Again, a great book. I highly recommend you guys check it out. And again, we're going to make all of these learnings available to you guys as we roll out our uh, values officially. But like this mentality, guys, this is phenomenal. And I'm going to give you an example here. At RepStack, I want to point this out. I'm going to be blunt with you guys. We have an issue. We're working at nights and you guys are all expected to perform at the levels benchmark at American levels. Yet you guys are doing what we call in the American lingua graveyard shift. It's not easy. I understand that. And some people are getting burnt out. And I just want to open the room really quickly. I want to ask you, who do you think is responsible for that? Is that my HR team? Who's, who knows who explains this to every person that, that's coming in that, hey, it's at night and it's, going to be, it's not going to be easy. But yet we're having people who are complaining about getting burnt out at night. Whose responsibility is that? Can anyone take a guess? Or is it my RSA team? who's just training them so hard or go getting them to take trainings after trainings after trainings till they can get ready. What, where do you guys think is this burnout? How, what's the reason? What, why is this continuing to happen? Who's responsible? The person, who signed up. the person who signed up. Okay, so that's an answer. Any other? Go ahead. That you are working at night shift and obviously you're going to be hard. It's going to take a toll on your mental health or your physical health. So you need to be prepared beforehand 
before signing up, you need to know that, okay, it's going to be a challenge and you need to overcome that challenge. So awesome. What's your name? Jamal. Jamal and? Alicia. Alicia. And that just put a smile on my face because I think that wasn't the answer I was looking for, but that's a great answer because that's a true example of extreme ownership because you guys are taking the blame on yourself. And in this particular case, I am fully responsible for that because I haven't been able to solve that problem for you guys. And you know, the burden lies on me and that's what extreme ownership is. Having said that, you know, this is going to be my biggest challenge going into the future to make sure that you know, we level the playing field for you guys and we make you guys happy and we, we remove the burnout element for you guys as well. Day one mentality. So this is coming directly from Amazon and a book that I recently read called The Bezos Letters. Jeff Bezos, since 1997, since Amazon went public with hundreds and thousands of employees now and a trillion dollar plus evaluation, they are still proud of the fact that they make fast decisions. So what it means is stay agile, decisive, and always push forward. So this is what we call in our Pakistani culture, chokke or chakke lagana, right? On a daily basis, to work and you're hitting it out of the park and uh, you're being nimble, you're getting wins on the board and that's what uh, day one mentality means. If we can all come together, everyone on this table is purpose-driven learning. We understand that this learning is not another job activity that I have to do. This is something that's going to get me upgraded every 90 days and I'm going to be able to use this on a daily basis for my day one mentality, and I take full ownership of this, imagine the electricity we're gonna have all around us, not just through our, our day, but when we get together, the stuff that we're gonna be able to build together. And the last value I wanna point out to you guys is compassionate giving. And this one is like really near and dear to our hearts. From our household that we've been brought up in, big part of us growing up, and a lot of you guys live and breathe this value as well. And what it means is genuine care keeps people loyal. And I'm hoping, at least the glass door reviews say that, that you guys somewhat enjoy the culture at RepStack. I know there's a lot of work to be done. This is where it's at, guys. Everything's coming from the heart. When me and Athar and Yawar started out RepStack, we all had these corporate jobs, right? We've all had these jobs where after a long weekend, we didn't want to go back to work. We had these bad knots in our stomach and we wanted an environment where people just want to come. People can't wait to be back at work and after a long weekend. And I know it's a quest, but I want you guys to tell me as the day progresses, come up and reach out to me and tell me your story but I, I, we're hoping that we've created an environment where you know, you're excited to come back to work and you're not getting bogged down. And those ladies and gentlemen are the next values of RepStack and we're gonna hopefully go on a quest together over the next one year and we're gonna learn, we're gonna, I'm gonna introduce you to these amazing books. Compassionate Giving, these two books we actually read in the support team, not the associates, but the people who support you guys. Throughout this year, since January, we've been reading Joey Coleman's Never Lose an Employee and Never Lose a Customer Again. We're already going through all of those trainings. A lot of the stuff that you're seeing right now are coming directly from these learnings. And now we're gonna transfer those over to you guys. Thank you very much for listening.